Welcome back. It's Beyond Beans and Weenies. I'm Sue Hansen. And I'm Janet Rowland. It's Tuesday, so Tuesday. we have a sandwich. Sandwich day. What are we doing? And just instead of your basic grilled cheese sandwich, we're going to add a little pesto to it and mozzarella cheese. So we'll have a pesto mozzarella, mozzarella oh, cheese. That? Yes. And some uh, tomato tortellini soup. So, so it's not that there's any more of the regular old grilled no, cheese. No, right? but if you're going to, this, you can see it takes <sighs> no cheese. longer to do no this. No longer. So okay. We're going to start with two pieces of bread. All right. We'll butter the one side like you normally do with the grilled cheese. You want me to do that, boss? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so she's going to grill the, or she's going to butter it real good. Right, and we're using Smart Balance because we're... I like this because it doesn't have the hydrogenated oils in it. Now, before she does that one, she's going to put the basil actually on, this on one? the inside. You can really only put it on one side. It's kind of hard if you've got butter on one side. She, Janet's a paste pesto nut. I love pesto. It My friend Paula good. makes really homemade. good. Homemade. She mm -hmm. should give us some homemade. She should. Sometime. You're right. Yes. Paula? Please. You're on Facebook. Give us some pepper. Right. So, so you want to slather it quite on. a bit on it because it's only on one side. Yeah, that's good. So this is a pre-made um, pesto. Mm -hmm. Is it pretty expensive? Um, yeah, it's about three fifty for a jar like that. But we're not using but just a small portion of but it. But better than going out to eat. That's so. right. Yeah, that's our motto. Okay. And then I'm adding mozzarella cheese because it's just it's a little bit better than just your standard you know cheese slices. Okay. And add like that. American cheese. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add another piece of bread that's been buttered. Okay. And just your standard grilled cheese. You're going to cook it until one side is nice and dark. And Where's the easy button? Crispy. That was easy. It was easy. <laughs> I don't have my easy button. Man. And then we're going to serve it with tomato soup. I'm not going to show you how to open a can of tomato soup. I think you know how. We love tomato soup because we dip our grilled cheese in it. But then I thought to make it a little bit heartier, just throw in some of the frozen tortellini. I mean, you buy it frozen, you want to thaw it before you put it in because if you you don't, you overcook your soup. You do not want frozen tortellini. So there you go. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us.